Hey guys, so today uh, Sony released its official high-end phone for 2000, the end of 2017. Uh, this is the Xperia XZ1, uh, which is, you know, the naming when it comes to Sony handsets seems to be getting more and more crazy. Uh, but this is the name of the device. They've also released an uh, XZ1 Compact which is a smaller version of uh, their flagship phone. This is a welcome phone actually because a lot of people do like the compact version. It's like the only phone on the market with high-end specs and you know we're not that expensive price. So we can just have a quick talk about the phones here. You know what uh, they bring to the table. So with the XZ1 uh, you are getting a very similar handset to the uh, the XZ actually in terms of pretty much everything except for the camera except for the uh, the the specification like the processor the processor is now in line with the XZ premium which had the better uh, Snapdragon 835 uh, and it also has 64 gigs internal storage and 4 gigs of RAM so quite you know comparable to other flagships in that regard uh, but a quite a strange thing here because if you look at the battery they seem to have reduced it to 2700 uh, which to me you know is uh, probably not what you would expect on a flagship phone nowadays because most flagship phones have at least 3000 I mean we've had 3000 for like years uh, but Sony seems to be confident here that it can get away with 2700 uh, for the battery uh, I don't think it's going to be a huge deal when it comes to the uh, the XZ1 Compact because the XZ1 Compact is only coming with a 720p display which isn't a huge deal with such a small uh, display. I think some people would have liked to have seen a full HD but they have kept it at that pretty much like you know for ages now so uh, I think the battery will be decent for the XZ1 Compact but when it comes to the main like XZ1 here I think this is not going to be a, a good uh, battery life phone uh, which kind of kills my enthusiasm for the device because with the XZ Premium you are getting a good battery uh, I think it's like 3000 or something so it's a very strange Sony decision uh, with that particular thing. Another thing as well is in terms of the camera, we're still not getting optical image stabilization or like a dual camera setup here. You are getting the 90 megapixel camera which supports a super slow motion. Uh, I have found, you know, using it, it's a very good camera in terms of the, you know, daylight shooting, but it does suffer because of the lack of, uh, you know, optical image stabilization for low light. So a bit disappointing that they've kept pretty much everything the same there. Uh, also, uh, what else? We are getting Android 8.0 uh, Oreo here, which I don't even think the LG V30 comes with. So that is good that they're using the latest software for their uh, flagship phone. Hopefully they can take advantage of some of the things that Oreo does come with. Uh, but you know overall I think this is a little bit underwhelming uh, flagship here from Sony I was expecting a little bit more uh, you know it's particularly given the, the amount that they're charging I think it's like 700 euro for the XC1 and I think 600 euro for the XC1 compact could be wrong uh, but uh, to me it's like uh, you know there's, there's very little motivation to buy this particularly as it doesn't come with a fingerprint sensor for certain markets uh, when you compare with like the LG V30 the Note 8, the Pixel 2 you know so many amazing phones which uh, come with so much more here so you know I think that's what I think in regards to this handset uh, I am a Sony fan and I do want them to do well but I, the way they're going to me it's like they're going to go you know the vowel route when it came to the laptops like you don't have any vowel laptops anymore and that is a shame really because they used to have some really nice designs uh, so yeah these are the XZ1 and the XZ1 Compact what do you think are you going to be getting them uh, do let me know I hope you found the video helpful and I'll see you in the next one